Hello, good morning. My name is Abdullah, I'm one of the doctors. Uh, um, can I please confirm, am I speaking with the trauma manager? Uh, yes, this is Dr. Saad, I'm the trauma manager. Okay, thanks Dr. Saad for taking my call. I'm just calling you to make you aware of a patient who will need to go to theater uh, because he had a fracture in the lower limb and also with vascular compromise. Would you like me to give you the details of the patient? Uh, yes, sure, go ahead. So the patient name is X and the hostel number is this and the date of birth is this. So he's um, a 33 year old male patient presented following a road traffic accident and there was a right open TBU fibular fracture with absent foot pulses or suspecting an arterial injury. Um, we did not find any other associated injury and there is no background history of note in this patient. However, I will go and check the notes after that and gather more collateral history when I get a minute after our call. The patient is hemodynamically stable, GCS is 15, and there is an open leg fracture with metacarpal fracture as well. The foot pulses are completely absent and uh, the blood results are not available yet, but I'll chase them after our call. There is an abdomen ultrasound that was done and it showed a free intraperitoneal fluid. Ideally, after our call, I'll go and do a full A to E assessment to get more data for him. I recommend booking the patient on theater list and I'll speak with the orthopedic team and the vascular team. Having said that the ultrasound showed an intra-abdominal fluid collection, I will also need to speak with the general surgery team uh, to make them aware and come and examine the patient. Um, after, doing, after finishing our call, I'll go and reassess the patient. I'll make sure that the C-spine is stable as well and um, is um, being an oxygen. And also, basically, I'm going to complete the whole A to E assessment for him was examining the spine as well. Can I please ask, what would you like you to do is to book the patient in theater, if that's all right, and to give me an advice if you would like me to do anything else. Uh, why do you think the patient has uh, intra-abdominal collection? What could be the cause? So since the patient is a polytrauma, it could be any injury in the abdomen, starting from the liver or the spleen or basically anything. So we'd like to get further further examination of the patient and further imaging, including CT, maybe CT angiogram if needed, and or starting by a simple test like FAST scan. And of course, we'll need to get the general surgery involved to rule out this. The main thing uh, that we suspected that uh, there was free um, intra-abdominal uh, uh, fluid on an ultrasound. Uh, okay, uh, do you think it's uh, it would be necessary or more advisable to do get a CT angiography done before we book him for theater? So uh, I believe that the, the, the patient is, is a limb saving procedure uh, because he has absent foot pulses. So that would be C pod one and he will definitely need to be booked in C pod. I will definitely consult this, discuss with my consultants as well about whether he's stable to get a CTA or not. But I believe that he will need to go to theater directly uh, without having to wait for a CT angiogram. And we can always, if he's in theater and the general t surgery team is aware of him, we can always plan to do a laparoscopy for suspecting any um, uh, active bleed. Okay. Uh, do you have any concerns for this patient after he undergoes his surgery? So I'll definitely be concerned about compartment syndrome. It will be a high risk since there is absent foot pulses. Um, there might be a risk of increasing swelling. We'll keep on that. We'll keep the leg raised after the surgery. And of course, I will follow up the orthopedic and the vascular team plan from the post-operative notes. Okay. And anything you can do pre-operatively to prevent, uh, operatively to prevent this complication? So of course, pre-operative, we need to make sure that the patient is not dehydrated. I will definitely go and re-examine him after our call and um, I'll make sure that he has adequate fluid resuscitation prescribed to him and being given to him as well. Um, and that's the main thing that we can do. Also leg elevation. Um, I mean, as soon as we have pulse again, we can do the leg elevation, but before having the pulse would be quite unrealistic to do that. Um, yeah, that's the main thing that I will have to check. Also, we need to secure a line, uh, maybe two lines bilaterally, two big lines, cannula bilaterally, just to make sure if any at any time he's shocked. So we have a line to to save him for uh, basically to to start fluids if needed. OK, and are there any metabolic or electrolyte uh, disturbances you are concerned about? 
at this moment, I don't have any blood results, uh, but uh, again, when I go back, I'll do a full A to E assessment. I'll get an ABG or a VBG and also get all the needed bloods for him. Okay, and what do we expect to see in the ABG in this patient? So it could be many things really. So if, if he has compartment syndrome or he has intraabdominal bleed or if he's hypovolemic shock, I would expect to see a metabolic acidosis due to decreased perfusion to the tissue. And this will inc will definitely increase the uh, anaerobic uh, um, metabolism, producing lot large amount of lactate. I will definitely look at the lactate level as well. Um, so um, yeah, that would be my concern: metabolic acidosis. Okay. Uh, okay, I think uh, yes. Looking for the C part, I think it could be okay. better. Thank you very much. So just to summarize what we discussed today, so you're gonna book the patient for. A seaport, and after our call, I will go and do a primary survey and the secondary survey. I'll make sure he has a C collar in place. He has two Y pool cannula and being resuscitated, and also the bloods have been sent to the lab, and I will chase them. I will also he will also definitely need immobilization of the fracture that he had, and we can consider a CT cap as well if we're suspecting any um, just to make to clear the spine if needed. Of course, I'll discuss this with um, our senior colleagues as well. Is there anything I missed or anything you would like to add? Uh, I think that would be fine. Okay, thank you.